When you think about simplifying and minimalizing your life, what do you think about? Do you think about living in an RV or are you thinking about a tiny house? I know that when I was thinking about making a major change in my life and escaping the rat race and, uh, you know, kicking the American dream to the curb once and for all, a couple of the options that I had considered were living in an RV taking off into the wilderness with nothing but a backpack and living in a tiny house. And today I'm gonna to tell you the six reasons why I think living in an RV is a better choice than a tiny house. So stay tuned, I have a lot of information for you if you too are on the fence about whether you wanna live in an RV or a tiny house. There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. Hi friendlies, my name is Carolyn and welcome to my life living in an RV. A little over four years ago, I was a lot like you. I was fantasizing about living a different kind of life. Something simpler, something closer to nature, something that just wasn't in the rat race that didn't cost a fortune and just just something closer to what I feel like are my roots as a human being. And so like you, there were some options about what I was going to do. I looked at buying land, I looked at tiny houses, I looked at living in an RV, and a couple other choices that weren't as practical. And so I kind of know, I think, where you're at. And so I thought it would be a good idea today to share with you my thought process behind choosing an RV to live in instead of a tiny home. And so I think that these six reasons that I'm going to give you for why I think living in an RV is better than living in a tiny home, uh, these are my choices. These are the things, that, the conclusions that I came to, but I thought that they might help you as well. So the first reason that I chose to live in an RV instead of a tiny home is, first of all, because tiny houses are expensive. They are really, really, if, I mean, especially Especially if you get one custom built. I don't know if they're all custom built, but I remember looking at them and they were $100,000, $200,000, $300,000. And I'm like, no, nah, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> it doesn't seem to make, it didn't seem to make sense for me to spend more money to live close to nature in a smaller home than it would be to live in the Bay Area. I mean, that just didn't make any sense. And for $8,000, I was able to buy my first used clunker RV. It was a clunker, but it, it got me to where I wanted to go. So that was reason number one for me is that buying an RV, I think even if you buy one brand new, but definitely if you buy one used, it's going to be way cheaper than I think just about any tiny home you can get. So if you are on a budget, if you don't have a lot of money, if you are looking to maybe not finance something, I think an RV is a better choice than a tiny home because of the initial just cost to buy it. That's number one. And reason number two why I think living in an RV is a better choice than a tiny home is because of the ongoing cost of the of living. For with boondocking like I do, I live on public lands moving every couple weeks for free. Um, so the land is free. I don't have to pay anything. If you get a tiny home, you need to either rent or buy the property. So that is another cost on top of the high cost of the tiny house. You then have the cost of the property, like I said, either renting or buying it. And so it ends up being pretty, I think, pretty expensive to live in a tiny home. Of course, living in an RV, you do have the upkeep, you have the maintenance, you have the initial cost of the RV. For me, like I said, my first one was $8,000. My second one was $14,000. I paid cash for both, so I have no monthly payments. And my only monthly expense kind of related to like living, I guess, is gas. And I've said in other videos that I consider my gas my rent payment. I can adjust that according to my budget and how much by how much I travel. With a tiny house, you can't do that. You have a static cost of the land, no matter what, the, the rent payment and the mortgage payment is the same every month and the same with the tiny house if you have to finance it. That is a fixed cost that you have every single month. And for me, living this lifestyle, was really about having more control and more freedom of over my life, getting rid of things like rent and mortgage and debt. And for me, the high cost of a tiny home with the tiny home itself and the property, unless you have 
$300,000 or whatever it costs to buy everything outright, you're going to be tied down to those monthly costs still. And that isn't freedom to me. That's not how I wanted to live this part of my life. Part of that was getting away from debt. And really that way, I mean, if I don't have debt, I don't have to, in theory, I don't have to work as much. Of course, we all know how that turned out, started another business. But uh, if you are on a budget, if you are thinking that you want to retire, then do you really want to be tied down to a monthly fixed cost of a mortgage for your for your house and for your land. And if not, then buying a used RV with cash and then living on public lands and your only real expense, you know, other than, you know, things in life like insurance and things like that. But your only real like housing big expense is going to be gas and you have complete control over that. That's ultimate freedom to me. So that's the reason number two, why I think living in an RV is a better choice than a tiny house. And my third reason for choosing an RV over a tiny home is because there are a lot of limits to living in a tiny home. You may not know this, but you can't just build a tiny home anywhere. It's kind of treated like an RV. In many places, it is treated like an RV. So there are a lot of zoning restrictions and things like that. So you really, if you are looking at a tiny home and you're looking at buying or renting a piece of property, you have to really pay attention to what the rules and regulations are for the area that you want to live in. And so you're going to be really restricted. So it's not like you can just get a tiny home and move anywhere. You you have to find some place that allows tiny home living like an RV basically with no zoning laws no limitations I think like agricultural lands is one of them that you can live on but uh, I didn't like the tiny homes for those limitations. Again, this part of my life is about freedom. I wanted to be free of limitations. And that is not um, really what, at least in from what I've seen in my research, there are just too many restrictions to tiny homes. And that goes into number four, the fourth reason why I chose an RV instead of a tiny home is because I don't want to be limited to where I live. In an RV, I can go wherever I want. I mean, I can't live, I can't stay stationary. So if you are looking at staying stationary and not moving around, then yeah, a tiny home might be a better option for you given even with all the limitations. But living in an RV, I, I can stay in RV parks for, I, I suppose you can in tiny homes too. You can stay in RV parks, but again, mostly I live on public lands. I'm free to come and go as I want. I can go wherever I want. I can chase the weather. And as long as I'm staying on public lands and not looking to purchase property and stay in one place, I have a lot more freedom than I would have had with a tiny home. Tiny homes aren't that easy to move. That's okay. So I'm, I'm getting into the next one. Number five is that it's a lot easier to move an RV or a van, if you're, especially if you're gonna live in a van, than it is a tiny home. You can move tiny homes. They do build them so that they can be mobile, just like in an RV or something like that. But it's going to require a really big truck. And I don't know, it looks like a lot to move. At least, again, in my research and what I was looking at, it didn't make as much sense for me to travel and live on public lands in a tiny home. It just made much more sense to do it in an RV rather than trying to pack up a, a home that really isn't meant to travel like an RV is and so that was another limit for me that I didn't want and that's another reason why I think living in an RV is a better choice than a tiny home at least for me right now is because it's easier for me to move it's easier for me to travel o overall between the zoning and the restrictions and being limited into where you can live and all of the other restrictions and stuff that comes with living in a tiny home I just think that overall the RV gives me a lot more freedom than in a tiny home. Would. And the final reason I think living in an RV is better than living in a tiny home is because of waste, human waste, toilet. Unless you buy a composting toilet in a tiny home, 
then you or or build a septic tank or a septic system i don't know how you're going to get rid of your waste unless you get one of those portable things that you have to go empty and that can get really messy and again in an rv since it's built to move and it's built to be mobile i have my toilet i have my tanks my holding tanks i have my spouts where i can just drive to a dump station and empty things so from what i've read disposing of waste without a composting toilet can be a real challenge and that also goes into the whole buying land and the zoning laws unless you build a septic tank you can't put your tiny house there and again it just goes back to the rules and the regulations and all of the restrictions that uh, I don't feel like I have in my RV so kind of you know those are just my reasons and uh, if you do your research you might find other solutions to some of the challenges that I brought up in this video but this was just what helped me make my decision to live in an RV and why I I didn't choose to live in a, in a tiny house, at least not right now. I think that eventually, hopefully if my RV lasts long enough, that might be my tiny house on a piece of land. But for right now, I really wanted the freedom, the mobility, the ease of being able to move and go where I wanted to, not have to worry about restrictions and zoning laws and all of that. That's kind of what I was getting away from. I was trying to get away from all the co complications of modern life. and. I know like initially you find your piece of property if you have a tiny house you find your piece of property and the initial stuff might be a few hurdles that you have to overcome but in the end you have your dream land and your dream house but those are just my reasons I thought you might be interested in hearing them uh, what are your thoughts leave your thoughts below I'd love to hear from you and uh, this is just my view on on my RV life and why I chose it I hope you found it helpful and I appreciate you being here with me I will see you next time in the meantime be happy be free and be kind I'll see you soon